Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Here we are again at Blanford Nature Center, and I'm ready for an e-lab extravaganza. Let's take a hike and see what we can find. There's still no water in the raging river. Maybe there will be later on in the fall. And look at all that poison ivy that grew up there. Wow, stay away from that three-leafed plant called poison ivy. I wonder what's down the trail here. Let's take a look. Sugar maples can get very large. You may remember this giant that's on the trail going to Blanford School. This is a huge sugar maple. Blanford staff has gotten maple syrup, or I should say maple sap, out of this tree for many, many years. This is a very large sugar maple. Remember that leaf shape? Sugar maple. Here's one of its kids right behind me here. There's the leaf shape of a sugar maple. Amazing, you probably recognize that leaf shape. It's a simple, beautiful leaf called sugar maple. Nice job, sugar. This sugar maple's so big, I can't even get my arms around it. Look at how big it is compared to me. That's a big sugar maple. Wow, you're huge. <laughs> Hey friends, look at the big tree behind me. Oh my goodness, it's really tall. <laughs> this is one of the larger trees here in the forest of Blanford. It's a red oak. And take a look at the bark and take a look at this. You probably recognize that. That's right, it's an acorn. I looked and looked in this forest and it was hard to find just one because so many animals eat acorns. Acorns are the seeds of oak trees. And these acorns are food for many, many consumers. Most of the time, you just find these little caps. And the seed part, the inside where the animals get protein, it's gone. So this is a mighty oak tree. Look at the leaf shape. The leaf shape looks like this. They have points. Red oak has points. White oak has rounded lobes. So this is red oak. Look at the leaf shape. These are leaves of red oak that fell to the ground. So I put them on that white paper so you could see their leaf shape. There's a little variability in size and even shape to some extent, but they always have lobes, those points that stick out, and they're always pointed. Red oak is one of many species of oak, and this one has pointed lobes. Notice the points on the edges of those leaves. This is the shape of the leaf of red oak. Hey, fifth grade. Check out the light gray bark of this beautiful tree called white oak. This is one of the favorite trees of wildlife. The acorns from white oak are sweet and many animals prefer them. Many insects will feed on the leaves of white oak too. Lots of little caterpillars. Let's take a look at the leaves of white oak. White oak is similar to red oak. Notice though that the leaves have lobes that are rounded. Check out these lobes on white oak. They're rounded, kind of like fingers. So this is a tree called white oak. You saw its bark. Now you know the leaf shape. Some of the leaves are bigger than others. Look at, here's all the leaves of this beautiful white oak tree. It produces wonderful acorns that animals really like. All of these different producers that we've looked at help feed all the consumers, which in turn might eat plants, or they might eat other animals. What an amazing world we live in. I love all these producers. See you later, white oak. I found a small little sapling of a black cherry. Black cherries have simple leaves, just one leaf per stem, and they're kind of football shape. This one's really shiny. So this is the leaf of a black cherry. This is a small little sapling of black cherry, just a baby one. Look at that. Remember Prunus? Prunus is a black cherry tree. The leaf shape can vary some, and black cherry has little tiny hairs along the inside of its midrib. So that's another way to tell if it's black cherry. Black cherry, what a great tree to have in our forest. And this is the bark of black cherry. It's very distinctive. It's kind of hard to see the leaves on some of these bigger trees because they're so tall. Black cherry gets to be a very, very tall tree in the forest. Oh, and the leaves are way up there. But look at that bark. Kind of looks like burnt potato chips, remember? Black cherry, remember it. And here we are. It's 
it's another little sapling of black cherry. Notice the leaves are kind of shaped like long pointed footballs. Black cherry, what a great tree. Hey, fifth grade, check it out. Look at the leaves of Eastern Cottonwood. They've got that point. They're almost kind of heart shaped if you look at them this way. Eastern Cottonwood grows to huge proportions in Michigan and it gives off seeds that are kind of cottony, like snow almost. And a lot of people have like allergic reactions when all that's in the air. But animals love Eastern Cottonwood. Many insects will munch on the leaves. Eastern Cottonwood, it's an awesome native Michigan tree. Hey, fifth grade, another tree I needed to show you actually grows kind of as a shrub or a small tree and it's called staghorn sumac. Look at it, it has this fuzzy seeds on it which birds and other animals like to eat. They're consumers. And look at the leaves. It has huge compound leaves. Compound means more than one part. So look at this beautiful tree called staghorn sumac. It's one of the first ones to start turning color this time of the year. I love staghorn sumac. It often grows on the edge of a forest or on the edge of a field. It's a small tree that provides food and oxygen for consumers like us. Thank you so much. Hey, here's that cool tree called box elder. You can see the seeds on box elder kind of look like those helicopter seeds we used to call them. Now we call them samaras. Samaras are winged seeds that kind of spin when they fall through the air. So box elder is a cool tree. It's kind of weird because when you look at the leaves, Sometimes it has three leaflets and sometimes five. Sometimes it kind of looks like poison ivy. Yikes! But box elder is a tree with compound leaves. Compound means it has more than one leaflet on a stem. This is one leaf of box elder. Get it? Box elders are related to maple trees. They're in the maple family. Hello, box elder. That's a nice little tree with seeds that could be food for consumers. Awesome.